with the new waves it's been out for close to a week now and even if there's been plenty of drama today i want to focus a little bit on 10 things that the game could improve in order to become even better hello the internet welcome back to rotan waifus i'm sefi and that's today's topic uh, before we start leave a like subscribe and a little bit on my account right now for context right i am right now you know level 33 is getting really hard to level up 7.2k experience unless you refresh stamina it's gonna take a long time for free to place to reach the higher levels of the unions and that's completely fine uh, just because i am no life in the game doesn't mean everyone should right of course you can also spend money but i don't recommend it so union level 33 soul 3 phase 4 data bank is completely filled and i have every single character because who cares about Lin Yang? <laughs> i'm sorry Lin Yang fans is a little bit of fun here i don't have them built because there is not enough resources once again but that's completely fine it's been not even a week at this point so let's talk about things that i believe needs to be improved long term in order for this game to become better the first one is going to be tied to resource management and the ecosystem in the game gold echoes are going to take a long time before you get the good ones and for that reason one of the things that uh, needs priority in my opinion is converting resources into higher rarities we i have right now 970 medium tuners i cannot use this ever again because i cannot capture blue echoes the rarity that you can capture it's tied to your data bank meaning for me this has become something completely useless that i will never be able to reuse or upgrade into advanced tuners for example which would be a good thing the second thing and also related to the echoes is actually the substance because Substaps is something that's going to take literally months to get good ones. Let's put this example. This is a purple echo. I got crit damage, crit rate, attack percentage, resonance liberation, aka the ultimate, and glacial damage. This is for Sanhua. This is the perfect piece for Sanhua. If I want to get a golden piece to replace this, I need the same specific stats. I could settle down for crit rate, crit damage, and then another, something else, right? But I need this too. And that to fish for that on a specific pieces of um, what is this freezing frost is gonna take me again literal months or getting super lucky. You can be lucky, but let's be real, most of us are not gonna be that lucky. So the second thing I believe that needs to be improved is the acquisition or maybe re-rolling some of the substats so it's easier uh, to actually target maybe just one per piece. I'm not sure if they talk about this already on the patches that they released before launching the game uh, because i remember people mentioning something about this but i'm not sure so i think this could be something to work on and really important for the grind and longevity of the game echoes will be the biggest pain point that people are going to be talking about in the upcoming weeks when they start reaching this point like all of the casuals getting there is going to be the biggest pain getting good stats for your time now the third one also tied to echoes of course is going to be upgrading echoes right now the only way of upgrading echoes is if you have used an echo you can reuse it and get some experience i think it's like, like around 80 percent you can get back or using your tubes now i think you should be able to use any echo as experience because you can grind a lot of it but it doesn't matter how many you can grind we are restricted by tuners rather than the experience itself now i don't think they will do this because then uh the passive fields would lose their usage right because you wouldn't have to do them unless you're looking to just grind specific uh, random echoes or if you want like the first time rewards that i still have not complete on some of them so i don't think this will happen but i think it would be amazing if we could use any echo as experience further even if it's only a little bit since we can just grind them as much as we want there is two more things related to echoes i know i know it's just because it's the biggest system in the game and the one that needs like the most up reward or changes in my opinion in order to become a little bit easier over time to actually build your characters but the next thing echo related is every time you capture an echo it's a pain going to your back and finding that new echo. It's a pain having to come here, going into the echoes, having to open and then finding this new one, even if you can go filter and sort by new item. It would be nice if there is a small pop-up with what the stats the echo you just captured actually have, right? The main stat, the substat, etc. So that would be also something really important to work on long term. Now moving on, once again, our favorite system the echoes the other one that i think is is going to be really important over time to alleviate the grind it's the main stat on the cost three echoes the cost three are the only ones that can get elemental damage as main stat 
This means that you can go farm for a specific glacial echo for someone, for example, but get havoc damage, but get a spectral damage, fusion damage, fusion damage, HP, aero damage, electro damage. Look at all of these plants. None are the main stat that I need glacial. If I keep coming here, havoc, energy region, attack, energy, aero, attack, and HP. There is none right here in all this list that have glacial damage. I think this should be alleviated and the chance of getting your element or the element corresponding to the set should be higher than getting a different one. There are cases where you want to use a different one and that's where it exists, but overall it should be alleviated and give you the option, not, not, not the option, but have a higher possibility of getting the correct one. And now that's it, the last echo change that I will do is echo loadouts. There is characters that share echoes. So for example, if I come to my rover, she shares most of the echoes, but one with Tangit, right? So it would be nice if I could just share or swap around when I'm building different teams. Most people have them on the same team, but if I want to have rover in one team and Tangit in one team and switch the sets accordingly, even for doing tower, this is something that also should be improved over time to make it easier to do that, right? Not everyone is gonna have a set per character to actually work with that. So that will be the next and the last thing for Echoes. Now, the last three things that I want to talk about are related to improvements in the game would be healing and the TPs. Every time you TP, only this big Resonance Nexus will actually heal you. The Vicon ones are not going to be healing you, but I believe they also should do it. If healing is not restricted, like in Genshin Impact, right, every TP should be able to heal you. Now, I do understand that it only takes 20 more seconds, maybe a little bit more, depending on your PC or your phone to actually go to an exus and then to wherever you need to go but it's still a pain point that doesn't need to exist now moving on on our list let's talk about challenges and some of them and specifically i want to talk about this type of challenge the ones where you have to shoot so if i want to do this challenge uh, where you have to shoot i need to switch my character i cannot shoot unless i have a pistol on my team and most people or i mean a lot of people will not have a pistol available on main team so i need to go to another loadout switch to a team just for these things and then start shooting so that's something that in my opinion uh, makes no sense and i would love if they can actually remove that again i just don't think it's there any any need as to why you cannot shoot while you're doing a challenge with any character right because again, this is not like a, a challenge that's hard in the sense of, oh, this is really a complicated thing to do, a complicated puzzle. No, this is something that's inconvenient for the player. So if they could change it also, it would be pretty nice. But it's a minor thing that I guess a lot of people do not mind. And now for the last thing that I believe should be improved long term is the resource acquisition to actually build characters. Now, I understand gachas are long term, okay? My Nikki account, it, it took a long as time until I had a roster of characters built. The problem with Wuthering Waves is the amount you can grind. It's a lot in comparison to other gachas, almost infinite as long as you have brilliance. But the characters you can level up to try and put on your team, it's really limited. Same with the Echoes and what, how, how many you can actually level up. How much I play is not reflected on how much I can progress my characters every day. And I think that should be uh, even out a little bit. I'm not saying that just because I play more, I should have every single character in a weak build, all right? Don't get me wrong. But I believe uh, it would be nice to balance the rewards a little bit more so you can, if you spend more time playing, build more echoes or build more characters. Again, this is my opinion on 10 things that I believe could make our lives easier and it only benefits every single player. It's not like it's going to be making your life worse because you can play less. So all that said, those are my 10 reasons and of japping already. Do let me know what things you would like to see improve in the game. Do let me know uh, what parts right now you are enjoying the most and which ones you think are lacking in comparison. Uh, all that said, that's going to be it for this one. We're going to be live either when this video goes up or in a few hours. Drop by, say hello, have a great time. Thank you to my patrons for making this content possible. Good luck with your pool, the and see you in the next one. ブランとノワールの正体まで。ベンチ万物を切るとはこういうことです。